Okay, so we're going to be jumping into the new Trek stuff for Playmates. These look really nice, but which one is it going to be in this video? Well, I don't know. Let's take a look. So we are going to be looking at Commander Suru from Star Trek Discovery. This is um, his uh, entire from season one and two. I do believe, uh, but he does become a captain. Uh, we're probably going to get a few Saru figures, um, probably, uh, because they changed his uniform quite a bit as well. Uh, it does have Discovery on it, but um, that is not the Discovery from Seasons 1 and 2. That is Discovery from Season 3 onwards. Um, you can tell this by the gaps in the, uh, in, in the engineering section, secondary hole here, actually, and... The warp and the cells aren't attached, so they're detached. So you know that that's from later on in the series. Really nice picture of Saru as well. Once again, on the back, it's just the same old. Um, just generic information on all of them. So, let's crack this open, because I really want to look at this figure. This figure looks really good. So, let's just crack it open. Okay, so here is Commander Saru. Um, there's a few differences between this one and Burnham. Love the head sculpt on this, I've got to say. And it bolds really well for things like Romulans, Klingons, uh, Cardassians, all that sort of stuff with, with what, what they can do nowadays. There is a little bit less detail on this than the Burnham figure. Uh, but uh, we'll have a close look at him in just a minute. We get a Delta stand badge as always. Uh, we also get the Kelplin ceremonial knife here. So he uses this to uh, on his plants and stuff like that. But I think he uses this to cut his his ganglias off, which I think is in season two. I don't think that's in season one. Uh, when they're frightened, obviously the ganglia come out. Um, but they he notices that actually um, they don't actually need them. Um, and they were they were sort of there as a fa sort of fail safe sort of thing. We also get a phaser, the same phaser that uh, Burnham comes with as well. So he can hold that sort of uh, a little bit well. Like that. Um, he has a really surprised look on his face. <laughs> uh, we also get the really small tricorder as well. Um, for the other ones, they've been quite bigger, but these have been very small. Um, so, yeah, uh, it fits in his hand really nicely. He holds it really well. But well, let's have a closer look at the head sculpt. Okay, so here's the head sculpt. Now, I did say I really liked it, and I actually do. I really like the head sculpt on this one. The eyes are really well done. The lines, um, obviously, they're painted on. Um which is a bit different. They're not sort of, it's not, it's molded, but then to bring out the lines, they've sort of painted it, which is really nice. He does look like he's got a bit of a surprise, a sort of a downer look on him with his eyes open like this, but it looks all right. I'm not totally, it's not totally bad. The neck, I got to say, is a different color than his head. It's a lot more paler. Um, and his back, like I said, between him and Burnham, this one, the sculpting on the on the uniform and the badge ain't as detailed. I don't know whether it's just this one or not. Um, his feet, he's got the hooves, which are really cool. Uh, it's going to be difficult to stand him, I think. Uh, his hands as well, really nicely sculpted in the sort of same style. As you can see, his, his leg's not bent on this one. <laughs> uh, but his, um, his stanch is, is really well. Now, he is on these hooves, uh, as you know. Um... So getting him to stand, free stand, yeah, it's it's difficult, really difficult. So as you can see, we do get a number, but he's, uh, he actually stands a lot better on that for obvious reasons, because of how his hooves are and his feet. So he's got these sort of hoof designs, but... Um, yeah, I don't know if you can actually get him standing at all. Uh, freestanding. It's going to be... It's, it's, I think you could. 
but I think it would be difficult to. In fact, I'm not going to be able to. He's just always he's he's always going to topple over. So we'll stick him on his badge. That's what the stand's there for. It's uh, it's there to be used, obviously. But um, I actually like this one. Like I said, his, his uniform isn't as detailed as uh, as Burnham's one. But the head sculpt for, sort of just makes up for that. It's just a really nice sort of sculpt, really. And to be fair, he's the first alien character. I know we've got Spock and I know we've got Data. But in terms of, like, head design, I think uh, this is, like, the first sort of alien one. And I think they've really nailed it. Um, look, look, let me know what you think. I know I know people aren't too um, aren't too bothered with Discovery. I like Discovery. That is just me. But I, do you know what? I really like this guy, and the figure is really nice. But uh, yeah, it's a bit of a bit of a disappointment. You can't get him freestanding. But look, this is why we've got the badges. This is why we've got the stands. It's to stand him on. Um, but look, I've been Kev. Let me know what you think. You've been watching the Nexus. And as always, we'll see you at the next video. See you later.